For submission, let's say 10 seconds on one side and then on the other. Being and trusting that life has enough for everybody. Love this or just carry it with you throughout the day. How do you hope to grow over the next year? Thanks again. Today, I'm just going to have a mini book chit chat update with you guys. Kasi tagal natin hindi nagawa yon. But today, today is Thursday. It's currently 4:12 p.m. And guys, actually, nipahinga lang talaga buong araw. Super chill lang tayong Thursdays ko. Kasi uh, nag 8 to 10 a.m. class lang ako, which is PE. And then after na natulog na ulit ako. Tapos ginawa pang asynchronous yung 3:30 class ko ng prof namin. So chill lang, chill lang talaga ngayon. Okay, so guys, right now I am reading this book. This one want me okay that's the book that i'm currently reading right now i'm currently in page 141 so guys i'm actually starting to read more feminist non-fiction books ang ganda ng pagkakasulat ang ganda ng pagkakasulat ng libro na to kasi it doesn't only focus on her experience pero nare-relate niya yun to facts talaga or to research materials talaga to prove her point kaya ang ganda niyang basahin and also it opens my perspective as well since this is a feminist it's non-fiction. I think um, I enjoy ko yung gantong genre. And now, guys, I am so happy to share with you Feast Books PH because they sent us this haul. So they let me choose three of their best-selling books. So I first chose this one, The Evangelist. Uh, these are insights from leaders of the nation's most beloved brands. Because itong mga librong to, guys, um, maraming mga featured people <laughs> na experts sa kanika nilang industry. And next one, guys, is this one, The Fearless Filipinas: Twelve Women Who Dared to Be Different. I love it. By the way, guys, all these books are locally made, so they are available here in the Philippines. This is the book which I'm most excited about. This one is the E Hustle. What the country's best digital leaders can teach you about launching and growing your online business. I am so happy kasi alam niyo yung mga ganitong klase ng business books, contextualized siya sa Philippines. Kaya maganda rin na magbasa ng business books na sinulat talaga ng mga Filipino entrepreneurs. Kasi mostly, di ba, yung mga business books na binabasa ko, international nga. Fiction book. 
ko, I'm that type of person na <laughs> nagbabasa simultaneously kasi nakadepende sa mood. Ayoko naman magbasa for pleasure sa umaga. Like, gusto ko self-help yung binabasa ko sa umaga. Tapos sa gabi, nagbabasa ko ng feminist non-fiction. So, yeah, I'm that kind of person. <laughs> But anyway, it feels so good to just, you know, read for pleasure sometimes and hindi lang just for learning. Well, I mean, kahit naman nababasa ka for pleasure, you're still learning, so that's great. And also, by the way, about this book, The Magic Strings of Frankie Presto, this, guys, is narrated by, guess what? It is narrated by music. As in, like, by music. Saan ka makakakita ng ganong klase ng libro? Anything naman na sinulat ni Mitch Album, grabe, I highly vouch for because I love the way this man tells stories. He is such a great storyteller. Kaya wala, wala pang, wala pang libro ako na binasa niya na, na, na disappoint ako.
and I just want to say thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to subscribe and like this video, of course. And I hope that you stay safe. I love you all so, so much. See you next bye video. Bye.